first year of uni, being a loner all throughout high school, decides to change for once. Random girl who's a course mate adds me on Discord. This is it, JPEG. Messages her and asks to be a friend. Replies after an hour and said yes. After a quick, awkward small talk, she tells me she has to go and we say goodbye. We only talk once after that. Oh well, the wave. A few months go by and still no interaction with a random girl, think nothing of it. Be five minutes ago, talking to a course mate who happens to be a former schoolmate of random girl. Find out she's a class clown and befriends basically everyone. My face said I'm bad at socialising. What the fuck just happened? Be me, Indian male in uni. Walk past a group of three hot blonde girls. Hear one of them say, Ew, curry, ye stink. All three of them start laughing. Recognise one of them in my lit class. Find her IG and it says, BLM, LGBTQ+, activists, etc. Why women like this? Be me. Seven or eight at the time. Be shitting over a toilet like pick in my entire life. Do this because I find it fascinating to watch the poo come out. Dropping the kids into the pool as one usual day. Look down, monster log. Feels good, the JPEG. Looking down, watching King Kong's finger gracefully descend into the bowl like the Darth Maul at the end of episode one. Cue tsunami. The resulting splashback hits me straight in the eye. Last time I ever do that. So B, what autistic shit did you do as a child and why did you stop? B me. 10. Me and my brother are playing around. For some reason, tell him to pretend we're having sex under the blanket so we can prank my older brother. Get under blanket. Start thrusting our hips in the air and start moaning. Brother comes in and runs out. Rats on us and tells her mother. She runs in the room. She starts screeching at us. We get beat and grounded for being gay. Be me. Sheldon Cooper. Absolutely jackhammering away at my Jewish princess wife. Literally soul string theory as I'm filling her with my genius seed. Leap off her and run naked across the hall and kick open Lance's door. Begin erasing all his whiteboards and feverishly writing down my groundbreaking revelation. He stumbles down the hallway naked to find me with a marker in my hand. Begins yelling at me until he sees my work. He immediately soils himself and has an asthma attack. Leonard, BTFO! Howard and Raj enter for the nightly ritual of coming in Penny's food. Raj sees the board and for an instant reverts back to a crying baby and morphs back into a man. Raj, BTFO! Mock Howard for a few minutes about not being smart enough to get it until Raj explains. Howard instantly dies and a star of David appears on his forehead. Howard, BTFO! Glowing orbs appear in my hands and multiply rapidly as the air around us. My ascension begins as I levitate through the ceiling into the sky. Look down at my canatonic former friends who are now my subjects. Blow up a synagogue as I head for the stratosphere. Howard, BTFO again. Talking to a friendly girl on Discord. Having a nice chat. Ask if she wants to voice chat for a bit. Sure, that sounds like fun. I talked to a British guy yesterday and it was awful. I hate their accents so much. Oh, well, I'm British. She deletes me instantly. Just when I was looking forward to do some socializing. She deletes me instantly. Get fucked, Limey. Dad is a welder. Really hard worker, literally works himself to death. Does it because he loves my family and wants to provide. Comes home late, hardly ever see him. Second grade in primary school. In class. I look at the door and see my dad. Excuse me, can I take a nine outside to see the eclipse? Teacher lets me go with my old man. Never seen one before. Super stoked. Plus I'm really happy to see my dad at school. He hands me a welding helmet like pick related and I look at the sun. I only lasted about 10 minutes, but it's still a cherished memory. Be married for 10 years, have three kids. I was referred to wifey by nicknames. Honey, sexy, sweetie, etc. Fast forward to New Year's 2020. Me and wifey get invited to a big party. Good her parents to take care of the kids. Show up to party, this is the first time we've had a proper date in 10 years. About to introduce myself and wifey to a couple. Hi, I'm Anon. This is my wife. Uh, realize I've forgotten the name, panic and freeze. Turn to wifey. Honey, why don't you introduce yourself? Think to myself, this is it, I'm fucked. I luck out, she thinks nothing of it and introduces herself. Hi, I'm Mildred. Fucking Mildred. Be me, virgin. Have a hot aunt that always has complimented me since I was a child. Felt good and masturbated thinking about her, but never tried anything. Be a while ago. Aunt got diagnosed with stage 4 stomach cancer. Got skinnier and hotter, in my honest opinion. 
Realize if I'm gonna ask her to take my virginity, this is the most perfect moment, as she wouldn't feel guilty for long if she does afterwards. Be visiting her in the hospital room. Talk about all those times she told me I looked handsome and says that I'm still the most handsome guy she's seen. Horny.wav. Decide to go for it and ask her. She just says, Oh. Followed by a long pause. Oh shit, then it'd be three. She says she never meant it like that, and she's really sorry that it affected me that way, and starts tearing up. Fuck, 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 fuck the PFK. Realize I somehow fucked up again, and tell her I need to leave. B days later. Bro, she would tell my parents, as they would give me shit for it. Decide to do nothing about it, and hope it stalls in its home. B weeks later. She passes away. B today. Couple weeks later. Parents haven't said anything. Realize she probably didn't tell them, or they're embarrassed to talk about it. And on, how am I supposed to live not knowing that they told them or not? It's not like I could fucking ask them. At student dorm party. See girl on the middle of a couch. Knees bent to her chest, idly holding a bottle of beer, staring at the floor, blank face. Are you okay? 30 second pause. Yeah. Are you sure? 30 second pause. Yeah? Smiling this time. I force a cheer with my can of Rockstar and leave. <laughs> The entire night, she's still a downer, but whenever we glance at each other, she smiled. Last night. Meet her again. Still a downer, but noticeably happier when she sees me. We exchange some pleasantries in a 20 minute convo. She asks me if I prefer energy drinks over coffee, and I tell her I have no way to make coffee myself. Offers me to make a cup of coffee herself. She's giddy the entire time. We stay a little longer, and then she goes to sleep at a quarter to twelve. Haven't seen her since. Her roommate always waves at me now. What the fuck happened? Be me, an Indian living in a first world country, pursuing a master's degree. A white girl in my uni looks at me and acts like we're going to puke. I understood that she was mocking me. One day, overheard her talking to her friends about a curry smelling Indian. Realized she was talking about me. Complained to the uni about racism and blatant hatred. She gets kicked out of uni. She somehow gets a decent job with her bachelor's degree. She mocks another Indian at a workplace. Loses her job and gets grandly sued. Ends up on the street homeless. Why do I like this? That feel when grocery store in Cuba has everything you need, but there aren't different labels for some products owned by the same company, so it's not freedom. Anon approaches the great philosopher and asks him, Great philosopher, a large breast, a small breast better. The great philosopher sat in silence for a moment, and then commanded Anon to reach for his wallet. How much do you have in bills? The great philosopher asked. Anon told him that he had 30 in bills. Suppose you were to have $30 in coins as well, which would have greater mass? Anon told the great philosopher that it would be the coins by a long way. By which, the great philosopher said, wouldn't have the greater value. Anon was enlightened. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to Mr. Green and check out all of his social medias down below. My name, Gora. Grrrr. <sighs>